I thought you'd like this one. I call this one Sucking Light. Um, right down here I have four blue LEDs and I'm filming this through the ferrosphere. There is a lot more power in blue in spectrum light in electro volts than red in spectrum light. Here you can see it being like uh, the uh, plane of inertia, which is right at the center here, is actually sucking the light. At least it appears that way, right? Uh, right out of the uh, well from where the four LEDs are. This would be one of the poles here. I don't want to suck ferrofluid up. But look how far away I am. How do you like that one? <laughs> Powerful blue LEDs to give you a better look at magnetism because of their power in EV volts. That's uh, uh, new equals uh, HV as far as electro volts and blue and spectrum light. This is a ferrosphere that I created. Um, this is Mike Palazzola's, uh, Palazzola's design, but this is a sphere that I created. He's been uh, experimenting with the dilution, but I actually used a much more dilute solution of uh, mouse milk. Yeah, that's what it's actually called. And um, ferrofluid. This is about... 85% mouse milk and 15% ferrofluid, so there's actually a scant amount in here. This sphere is actually plastic too, by the way, which will obviously show up scratches quicker, but look how far away I am from the source of the LEDs. The LEDs are actually recessed another half inch inside this hole down here, so I'm actually almost two inches away. Because it's blue light, that's the effect that you get. So I hope you like that. Thanks for watching. Hmm. Bending light with magnetism. What did you think light was? Nobody knows what light was. Is, excuse me, until I created those videos. Fascinating. Thanks for watching. Mm, bye.